On today's video, we're going to be looking at this tool. It is a moisture meter that I purchased on Amazon for $25. Having a moisture meter within your toolbox is particularly important when you're dealing specifically with any type of plumbing issues where there's plumbing behind a wall. Usually when there's a leak, uh, it's very difficult for you to actually see it visibly. So right here, we have a piece of baseboard and I'm going to use my moisture meter and we're going to see that there is moisture being detected from this tool. But if you look at it visibly, you won't be, you won't be able to detect it with your own eye. This particular one I purchased because it had a lot of uh, reviews that had positive uh, reviews when I went to go look for different moisture meters. So right here, this is the prongs right here that are going to insert into the baseboard or drywall. And what it does is it detects for moisture. So here we're going to hold it to the on button. And you can see here there's two different options. You have one for uh, basically to find moisture in the home. And you also have one setting that works for specific types of wood. It comes within the manual. And with this one it gives you the temperature inside of, you know, the ambient temperature inside the house or unit or apartment. So right now we're going to go up here. We're going to insert the prongs right into the drywall. You don't have to go too deep, so we're not really picking up any moisture, but as we go down, you can see we're starting to pick up more moisture. And about right here over the baseboard, this is telling me that I do have moisture being detected in the drywall. Here I'm going to do the same thing in the baseboard, and you pretty much want to insert it, and you can see the baseboard is detecting moisture. Well, here you can see when there's moisture, there's a little bit of discoloration starting to start on this leak right here. And again, when you have your moisture meter, or your tester, you can see it's picking up that there is moisture in the baseboard. A lot of times the indication that there's moisture is you'll see bloating on the baseboard. You can kind of see the bloating here, or you'll see very light color discoloration, light yellow, light brown sometimes. But even here you can see it is still picking up moisture. And the closer I get to the corner, you can see the meter, actually the indicator goes up really high. And you can see here, this is a little bit more severe as you see the discoloration starting to happen. And you can see here, if I put my moisture meter detector above the baseboard, you can see right here it goes up higher. Let's say for this particular instance, this is a kitchen area. And you can see the toe kicks are new. There was a leak at some point and there was a decision made instead of finding the leak, just replacing the toe kick underneath the cabinetry. But if you see here, if you look at it, let's say I turn my flashlight off you would see it just looks normal to the eye. You wouldn't really pay no mind. Here you can see it a little better when I put the light on, but here with the moisture meter, I'm able to stick it onto the toe kick and you can see there is moisture. And this indicates that there is moisture. Uh, the toe kick is soaking up water. It's a slow minor leak, but it is soaking up in the toe kick. Here, I'm putting it in an area where I know there's no water moisture here towards the top. It is dry. What I'm going to do here is I am putting it more to the left. And as I start to move my moisture meter more towards the middle, you can see that the meter is picking up more moisture here as it goes to the center. What's good about this tool as well is when you're working in a situation where you're not in a kitchen or a bathroom, let's say right now we're in a bedroom closet, and here you can see that there is a moisture issue. But let's just say if you weren't able to see it, a lot of times when you're working with any sort of leak, what happens is you'll start off really with a musty kind of smell, especially if you have carpet. And as everything starts to soak up and dry and soak up and dry, you'll constantly have that smell. So right here, this is the closet. You wouldn't really think that there would be any issues with water in a closet. Let's say you couldn't see the discoloration. You see as I'm moving more towards this side, you see the meter picks up more moisture. So this is telling me that obviously I do have an issue 
with some sort of moisture or leak and it's really showing more on this end and this only shows you issues with moisture and it's more of a preventative type of tool that you would want to have when you have any issues again like I said with plumbing or water leakage and sometimes like I said you can't see it visually this is going to be a good tool to have if you do have any issues with uh, discoloration or mold you want to hire a professional to come and do the repairs properly especially when it pertains to mold related issues you do want to hire a company that is certified in the removal of these type of moisture related issues this video was a help if it was informational Please subscribe.